Welcome back to the homestead. Now we're going to plant some lettuce, different varieties of lettuce, and I guess more than just that, a couple other greens. I have four what we call molasses tubs here. I'll let you take a look at them in a minute. And I'm going to put a few different varieties out, two in each tub, okay? First one I'm going to do is butter crunch lettuce. The next one is going to be um, this is what they call like a strawberry lettuce, strawberry cabbage lettuce. My hands are not very under the armpit. This one is the Rocky Top lettuce blend or salad blend. It's really good and it's just beautiful. We have the good old fashioned black seeded Simpson. And another one that I'm going to plant separately in its own little pot is some purslane. Purslane is highly nutritious. It's great for salads or a lot of times when I come out here and I work, I just like pop some leaves off and have it as a snack. It's like my daily little snack. Um, if I have enough room, I probably add in some arugula. Arugula grows really fast and it's yummy. It's peppery and it's great when you're doing keto and you have a bunless cheeseburger. You can put that cheeseburger on top of your arugula and it's good and warm and it melts it down and it's one of my favorite things. And arugula is kind of hard to find right now. So I'll probably go ahead and grab some of that seed. Okay, these are molasses buckets. These were given to us by a relative. I think this is my third season using them. I use them in the greenhouse and I also use them outside as container planters um, in the summertime in the fenced in garden area. They work great. Um, don't fill the whole thing full of dirt. I have wood down in the bottom, small limbs and stuff that will break down over time. And then I have a good potting mix. And I typically will top it off because it breaks down just like anything else. And I will top it off normally with um, some rabbit manure. But I think everything outside is still pretty much frozen. And I mean, this is in good shape. It's not bad. As you can see, I've already watered it down. It's nice and moist. It has pine needles in the top. That's good. Adds acid to the soil. It even has some bark. Not a, not a big deal. That all came from um, when it was outside over the summer. So this one... I think I'm going to do the Black Seeded Simpson and the Rocky Top. I'm just going to mix both of these in together. Lettuce is one of the easiest things to grow. I mean, all you have to do is rough it up and toss it out. It's not normally an expensive seed. I mean, I haven't bought any recently, so I don't know about right now, but typically it's not. And I'm using this for a leaf lettuce. So I'm just going to spread it out like so. I'm hoping you can see okay. The rest goes in the envelope. And then now we're going to do the Rocky Top. Sprinkle in amongst it. Now when it comes time to seed my lettuce, to uh, make head lettuce, which I'll probably do with a few others, some more butter crunch, romaine, stuff like that. Those you're going to put individually in a little cell pack, and then once they get big enough to make a plug, technically, that's what we call them, then we'll put them where we want them once they've germinated and they've grown a little bit. But I'm just going to rough this up, get it down in there, I might get a tool. Just working it in. And that's it. And it should germinate fairly quickly, even though it still gets cold at night. Hopefully soon, we'll have some germination. Hopefully within a month, we should have some, some salads, some greens. Now this is still pretty moist, and I will water this back down just to help it sit. I'm loosening this up. See, I only go down so far. Hopefully you can see that okay. That's because there's wood in there. Hear it? Actually, that might even be something else. I think I've tried a little bit of everything to fill in space. That might be a pot down in there, which you can do as well. Okay, next we're going to do butter crunch and strawberry. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. Hopefully it doesn't mess with your ability to see. And I'm going to half and half it, okay? Y'all, it's like 80 degrees in this greenhouse right now. Holy moly. 
Okay, that's the strawberry on the left. Remind me later when I'm trying to label this. <laughs> Which I'll label in just a minute. Other half is butter crunch. I loved my butter crunch last year. It's so good. Maybe just a little thicker. Be a little conservative with it. Okay, now let's get our markers ready. Okay, I'm gonna squat down for this one. Here's my handy dandy little plant markers that I made myself. I made these out of blinds, window treatment blinds. I just made a video about it just a little bit ago, so it should be loaded before this video. Super easy to do. Here's my pencil, my cute little snowman pencil. And we did Black Seeded Simpson and Rocky Top. So I'm gonna put Black Seeded, if I could spell that'd be great. Simpson and then Rocky Top and I'm only making the one since I mixed it for the whole pot so I'm just gonna sit it back here and there it is okay now this side we're going to do the other we're going to do butter crunch see how I write them on there that's how I do it you can write it however you want butter crunch is on this side Oops. in there blocking me and then the next one I just put strawberry lettuce because I'm not putting the big old long name on there we know what it is and I'm telling you if you use a pencil it will not wear off and it's on this side it's in there nice and snug okay let's get them some water Oh, it's already good and moist, so I'm just kind of topping it off. I hear my chickens out there. What few I got. We're getting one and two eggs a day, y'all. Woohoo! That's okay. We'll get more in the summer when my girls are big enough. Alrighty, that's it. Easy peasy. Let's do some purslane now. Okay, so purslane grows wild in a lot of areas of the United States and definitely in the state of Missouri. Even in my garden that I keep covered up with weed fabric, I have had purslane come up and through the smallest places. Purslane's really nutritious even though people consider it a weed. Um, I tried to look at the vitamin on here, but it doesn't tell you exactly, but it does say that it's super nutritious. Look it up. Check out the Google machine. It'll tell you. This is really good for you. You don't have to seed it really heavily. I'm going to put it in this little recycled pot. That's probably where, where it will stay for the duration. Um, once I'm done with this, I'll reseed again. The seeds are very tiny. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see in my hand. They're so small. Can you see it? And I'm just going to sprinkle. And that's plenty. I mean, that was like a sixteenth of a teaspoon very very small amount don't need much it grows it binds out it sprouts up i'm gonna just kind of rough it in work it into the soil with it being that small you don't need to even poke holes you don't need to bury it deep anything like that okay and that's it the soil is pretty good and moist so i'm not even going to water this in i don't think it's too cold to germinate right now but if I have to, I'll bring it in the house and set it in the window. It'll germinate and it'll be great. It might take a little bit longer. It grows really fast outside, but I don't know about in the house. I'm going to look real fast for you. Self-sows easily. Press into soil. I, the light aids germination, so that's another good point. I didn't think about that. You don't have to get it down in there deep. Just put it on the top. Pat it in. Make sure that you harvest it before it gets too thick, too woody, or gets the blossoms. Just about like anything else, herbal or or um, your greens you don't want the seeds and it doesn't really say how fast it is sprouts in 14 to 21 days so if you don't have germination in that time try again and no it is not frost hardy so it'll probably come to the house with me but it'll be worth it and then I can bring it out in about a month or so okay you guys that's it for today the easiest stuff to sow can be in any container. My lettuce is in molasses tubs that's used for cattle. My purslane's in a recycled pot. Um, 
this wasn't anything I was going to put in the video, but this is just a little old granite ware pot with a plastic one, and that's what they call the airplane plant or spider plant that a friend gave me. You know, it doesn't have to be brand new. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just so long as it's got good drainage and it holds the soil that you need, you can grow all kinds of stuff. You don't need a big giant space. Okay, we'll see you guys again soon. I've got lots to do. The time is coming. It won't be long. We'll be doing onions and we'll be doing potatoes. And about March 10th, somebody's birthday, we'll be starting our tomato seeds. So hopefully we'll see you guys again soon. Take care and do what you can right where you are. I sure hope you can hear him. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks. the parsley I overwintered. See it? I think that's all little black spider down in there too. And then if you look here, the lemon balm starting to come back in. And Jesse sneezing. Do you see that? Do you see those little bitty greens? Do you know what that is? That's chamomile. February 15th. Look! Oh, yay. So excited. I don't want to move too much. But look, little oregano. He's coming back. It's all waking up. Daffodillies. Here they are. These are my Aunt Rachel's daffodillies. My beautiful Aunt Rachel planted these like 50 years ago. How cool. February 15th. They're through the ground. Yay.